Okay, shalom, all praises be unto you, how old Basham Yahushai, Basham Rechakwadash, doubling on to the elder apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone for a while, who taught us his truth, shalom to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect. Now, uh, the title of this one is, I don't feel worthy to pray, is as good as saying Yahweh Shai didn't do enough. Okay. I don't feel worthy to pray is as good as saying Yahweh Shai didn't do enough. And again, Shalom to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect. Okay. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 14. And it says, Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Yahweh Shai, the Son of the Father. Let us hold fast our profession. Okay, because you've got individuals, now that we're on the home straight, men that have been proven to be liars, um, sneaky, crafty, um, malicious, and of ill intent, um, are pretty much exposing themselves and the state of their spiritual affairs. Um, which is a result of wickedness, you know, and, um, you know, it really ticked me off and other brothers, man, but, um, you know, that uh, sympathy vote, you know, violin playing in the background, you know, feel sorry for me vibe, it's, it's, it's bullshit, man, you know, you got men talking about they don't feel uh, worthy to look up, you know, and pray and things of that nature as if it's a reflection of how they think of themselves. My nigga, fuck you, man. Okay? It's not about you. It's about the Lord. Yahweh said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. This he spake of the manner of death he should die, which was crucifixion. Okay. He was raised up and erected on that cross for three hours, man. Okay. But by the Lord going to the cross and raising from the grave, he made it possible for us to be brought back unto the heavenly father. He made, he made it possible us to be redeemed which means to be brought back at a price so if you don't feel worthy to look up or to pray what you're really saying is is your shy sacrifice isn't enough you ungrateful bastard man okay i'm gonna come out straight and say it. you ungrateful bastard i don't feel right to look up and I don't pray, and I don't this, and I don't that. Well, nigga, the means have been made, man. It's not as if the means aren't in place. The necessary precautions and means have been put in place over 2,000 years ago. So if you still can't pray, okay, that's just as good as saying, I don't think your Hawashai sacrifice is enough for me. So you might as well pack it in then. The whole of it. Okay? We're at the end, man. These wayward statements, these, 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 you know, sentences of unsurety and things like that. Men are just exposing themselves out here, man. Okay? Let me read it again. Seeing then that we have a great high priest, because what did the high priest do? On a day of atonement, he would go into the Holy of Holies and sprinkle the blood over the mercy seat. To atone for his own sins and then um, the sins of the, the rest of Israel, man. Which was all a foreshadowing of the great high priest who is Yahweh Shai. Okay. And as the high priest on earth would pass into the Holy of Holies, that was representative of Yahweh Shai passing into the heavens, into the spirit realm. Which you could, could which you can consider the Holy of Holies. Okay going before the father to atone and to um to be the sacrifice you know wherein the father is pleased in 
so that the elect, starting with the elect and all Israel following, can be brought back unto him. This is why the father said, like dove that descended after he was baptized of his cousin John, uh, that dove actually a chariot, and a voice came out, and Yahweh I heard it, and he said, "This is my son in whom I'm well pleased." So the father is pleased in Yahweh Shai. So if you can't look up and if you can't pray, <laughs> then just call a spade a spade. Maybe Yahweh Shai is not in you, man. And if that were me, then perhaps the Lord ain't in me. Because the father is well pleased in his son. So if you can't accept that the father is well pleased in his son... That's a result of you saying, well, I can't pray, then I can't, you can't do this. Well, that's on you then. Because as far as Yahweh Shai goes, he's done it. He said it on the cross. It is finished. It is accomplished, man. See, you got to watch what people say out here, man. You know, giving it all they got, going around like they're the big shot and things of that nature. But then they come up with some demonic statements and it's like, whoa. Let's 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 slow down here, man. You know, let's actually let's actually analyze what the fuck is being said here, man. Excuse my French, okay. But we're confident in the Lord, man. That uncertainty vibe, that oh, I don't know, and I can't do this, and I can't do that. Nah, to hell with that spirit. That's of Satan. This is the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1 and 7. And it says, For the Most High has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Okay? So all forms of spiritual uncertainty, you know, fear, you know, weakness, you know. You ain't really ain't showing love to the brotherhood. It says, and of love. You, you know, you show rather, the rather you're showing sneakiness, you know, lies. Okay, you know, you want to say oh, men can't judge situations when you lied through your teeth the whole time to brothers, man. Well, then the spirit of the Lord ain't with you, man, because it says for God have not given us the spirit of fear. But of power and of love. So if you're not portraying true love amongst the brotherhood, then, you know, you ain't showing what the father's given, then perhaps you're not of his elect. Okay, and of a sound mind, you know, stability. If if your mind if your mind ain't sound, then <laughs> to be sound means to be whole, to be healthy, to be well. We attain that spiritually through the correct understanding of the scriptures, being by being tapped in. So if you're not tapped into the source, then of course you're not gonna have a sound mind. Of course you're gonna be unsure of yourself. You know, you can't look up. You know. Can't look a man in his eyes, you know. You can't. Everything's can't, 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 can't do this. Can't do the work because of that. Can't. When the book of Philippians, the fourth chapter, verse thirteen says, "I can do all things through Yahweh Shai who strengtheneth me." So if your whole tune is, "I can't do this and I can't do that," then Yahweh Shai ain't with you, man. Okay. Just the one I want, man. Let me see something. Oh, it seems like I can't even put another piece up on there. Um, you know what? I'll do it this way then. Bear with me a second. <clears throat> Hebrews 4 and 16, let us therefore come boldly before the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. The scripture says, let us come boldly before the throne of grace. So if you're still saying, well, I don't feel worthy and I, 
I have to get in some zone to pray and uh, I can't look up. You know, you're selfish saying I, 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 I in all manner of negativity, all sorts of negativity. But the scripture says because of what Yahweh Shai did, we can come boldly before the throne of grace. So if you can't, if you feel like you can't, you're, what you're really saying is Yahweh Shai didn't do enough. You ungrateful bastard, man. Stop being selfish. It's not about you and what you feel like. What did Yahawashai do? What did he make possible? What did he make accessible? Some niggas are selfish, man. I, 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 I can't do this. I can't do that. And because of this and because of that. Fuck you. What did Yahawashai do? He made it possible. So if you feel like you can't, what you're really saying is, Yahweh Shai didn't do enough, man. Wayward, man. The scripture's clear. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. That's praying, man. We can be confident in Yahweh Shai, man. Alright? That we may obtain mercy. So if you're not praying, you know, doing the work in truth and sincerity, how are you going to obtain mercy? Yeah, feeling bad is one thing, but then wanting mercy is another. You have to obtain it the correct way. And you have to come boldly before the throne. And find grace to help in time of need. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, man, when, man, when men don't walk honestly, you know, uh, and contend for the faith, you know, in truth and in sincerity, man. Um, sooner or later, it catches up, man. And they start saying things that reveal what's within, man. All right? You know, that 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 false, humble, yeah, I'm so lowly spirit, that's demonic, man. That is demonic. Okay, if, if you feel like, you know... <laughs> If you feel like you can't look up and you can't pray, it's not about you, man. It's what you think about the Lord. And what you're essentially saying is Yahweh Shai didn't do enough. His sacrifice on the cross wasn't enough for us to come boldly before the throne of grace. You know, selfish niggas really expose what they think about Yahweh Shai. Yeah.